Yo, bro, filling car seats inside Hopton. Bro, don't be such a type, but you got money. Why do you cop a ride? I cannot afford getting one. I've been thinking of ride sharing, but you don't want to drive me to work. Get out of here, dude. You probably want to leash me on, I'm a fucker. <laughs> Come on, dude. I waited for the last 45 minutes. Can you fathom that I flagged down the first bus and the motherfucking driver didn't want to pull over? Oh, what a jerk. Why is there never a bus when you want to get one? I feel you, feel you. Anyway, why are you traveling by bus today? Ah, uh, bro, I'm commuting by bus because I got stranded last week. Really? What happened, bro? Long story, bro, long story. You know, I my car got bugged down in the mall, so I had to call out a tow car and have it towed down the road toward the repair shop. Haven't heard from a mechanic yet, thinking I gotta give him a call by noon to catch up with him. Sorry to hear that, it did buff out. Sure, you know, but for the time being, I gotta hang in there. The only thing is that I hate taking the boss to work because of the lack of confidence. You're always squeezed and stabbed like a pack of sardines. Everyone's talking and making noises. There's these nasty odors, the boss is always bumping and jolting. In other words, you just get bumper right. I'm used to all that, bro. <laughs> bro, be serious, it's because you want to. Hey, how the hell am I hanging, guys? This is your informal guy, Joshua from Hypernerd School. Beside me is Emmanuel Joshua. Hey, how are you doing, Emma? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Hello, guys. What's got? I hope you're doing wonderful today. I'm also doing wonderful. This is Emmanuel from HPN. For those of you who don't know me, I'm so excited to be here one more time and I'm going to explain to you the most important vocabulary regarding the recent video that you just watched. So, without further ado, let me get started. Okay, Emma, as a matter of fact, we got a lot of useful phrases for today. That's the what first I like one the most. Is, yeah. <laughs> the first one is to feel car sick. Okay, guys, to feel car sick means to get dizzy, but mm -hmm. when you are traveling on a vehicle, let's say you're traveling on a car or you're traveling on a bus, and so you get dizzy out of traveling for a long time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And to cop a ride. To cop a ride, okay, in this case, cop means to purchase something or to buy something. And ride, guys, ride is an idiom for saying car. Ride is a car, and cop is buy, purchase something. Okay. The first purchase of, a car. Okay, the first word to hop on. Hop on means to get on a vehicle, to get on a car, get in a plane, get on a bus. The word to ride chair. Ride chair means to travel on a car, but it, it means when a group of people travel on the same car. Let's say if you ride chair on your way to work, it means that you get together with more people to travel on the same shuttle or to travel on the same car. Something similar to carpool, right? Carpool, similar, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the verb to fathom. To fathom in this case means to figure something, to imagine something, or to picture something. The first word to flag down. Flag down means to hitchhike. Guys, hitchhike in this case, let's say you are on the road, you are walking, and you raise your hand or wave your hand in order for a common car to pull over so that the driver you know, drives you somewhere or picks you up. Mm, okay, okay. And what about pull over? Okay, pull over means to pull off or stop. Mm, to come okay. to a stop or in some cases to hold. Okay, you're right. And what about the first word to leech off? Leech off means to stick to someone, but it means uh, when you are expecting something from someone or you are like trying to get a favor from a person. Mm, okay. The verb to commute. Commute literally means to travel. If you say commute work, it means to travel work. Okay. The verb to strand. Okay, to strand in this case means to, let's say if you are driving your car, you're heading somewhere, your car breaks down, Okay, the car faces uh, an engine problem or issue, you can say you get stranded. It means that you face uh, an emergency situation and you are unable to keep going. Mm -hmm. You are stuck in some place. Correct. Okay. And the first of all, to get bogged down. To get bogged down in this case means to, to get broken down, to crack off. But it, it is for the car. If the car gets bogged down, mm -hmm. so it gets broken down. Okay. Tow car. Okay, tow car is this truck 
that is in charge of you know towing or pulling most of the broken down cars okay um repair shop okay repair shop is the place where the mechanic is at you know where the place where you take your car in order for the mechanic to repair it catch up with catch up with means to hear from or what okay Joshua said to catch up from the mechanic mm -hmm. he meant that he wanted to hear from the mechanic or he wanted to be abreast of the latest you know mm -hmm. situation and regarding the car that's good it'll buff out it'll buff out it means everything will be okay everything will be all right things will be looking up soon coziness Coziness in this case I means comfortableness. Okay, and the verb to squeeze. Squeeze means to crash or to, you know, to pack something together, to to put something together, but in the sense of, uh, you know, stuffing something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the verb stuff. Correct. It, it's it's the same thing. They are synonyms to stuff something, to crash something together, or to squeeze something together. Especially, you know, when we were uh, talking, of course, on the bus, there were more people around us and they were like, you know, crashing us and they were stuffing us. Okay, the verse bump and jolt. Bumping and jolting. Okay, in that case, jump, it means, okay, to shake. Let's say when the road is on a, uh, you know, in a bad condition, the bus, you know, tends to shake or jump or bump in this case, or jolt. And the final one was a uh, bumpy ride. Bumpy ride. When you get a bumpy ride is, you know, like I said before, when the road is in bad condition, you know, the, the bus or the car, whichever vehicle you're traveling by, mm -hmm. starts, you know, shaking or moving upwards. So that will be it, guys, correct? Yeah, that was very nice of you for taking the time to explain this vocabulary. That's what I like doing, you know. You're so right. guys, thanks for the amazing support. We do appreciate every single comment, every feedback that you have given to us so far. But please, I would like to ask you a special favor. Don't forget to leave us a comment and share this video with your friends and acquaintances because we really want to grow. So see you next time in the next video. Catch you later. See ya.